breaking news. David Omaya told to move out of government house immediately. Hello, my wonderful people. The thing is getting rather really serious. The governor of Ebony State thought he could, um, he could get away with this. And probably this is going to put some sanitization into political parties, um, appointees or those elected in one platform or the other to begin to you know make the necessary move and whatever and um, be, be sanitized so to say and just you know put themselves to in order and together together that's the word together you know uh, david omayi was sacked by the court let's get all the details david told to move out of government house immediately Human Rights Association of Nigeria has told a Boeing State Governor David Umayi to pack up and leave the government house immediately, following the Federal High Court's ruling that disqualified him from continuing as the Governor of a Boeing State. Human Rights Association asked David to step down from the position of governor in compliance with the judgment of the court delivered by justice equal the group said it was unfortunate that a man who has worked as a governor of a state for seven years will be seen casting aspiration openly against a judge of a competent court of law which is another of the three arms of government how sad how sad yeah, that's good. How sad. Human rights sees this as the height of executive insubordination for David to use unprinted words to describe a judge of the Federal High Court and indeed one of the finest justices of Nigeria, given his prodigious intellectual output as an anchor of our standing legal books. The group said in a statement signed by Comrade Emmanuel, this disrespectful attitude of David demonstrates the treasoning in what we have said previously that he, David, lack the temperament to be the president of Nigeria. If by mistake or accident, Mr. David Omai becomes the next president, then we will pack the judiciary and install his puppets as judges to do his bidding. His ungraded authorance and his calculated but unwarranted disturbance target at the judiciary of nigeria is to say the least disappointing it is even solid that INEC is yet to comply with the enforcement of the judge of the court why is INEC also disrespecting the law why is a man all already stripped legally of the authority of the governor of a Boeing state, still parading himself about as the governor. INEC being a constituted, created body, must abide by the binding judgment of the competent court of the 1999 constitution recognized by Nigeria. The saddest reality is David Umaya was a PDP and has lost his position to the APC. INEC would have complied with the judgment of the Federal High Court because for now there is no superior ruling suspending the enforcement of that judgment. So this is what is happening right now. David has been asked to leave the government house. Okay, He's been asked to leave the government house because of... Um, you know, he's not doing things like he should. So he's been asked to leave the government house, you know, and um, that should be the right thing. It should start from INEC before, okay? They should not be the one telling him the, what to do. It should start from INEC and um, INEC should be the one, you know, sending the message to him that you've been sacked. Uh, for goodness sake, INEC is the body that monitors this, okay? And if INEC is monitoring this, then INEC should do the right thing. OK, I next should do the right thing. So these are part of the things going on and Nigerians are watching how these things are played out. You know how these things are played out. 
So Nigerians, we continue to speak against, you know, um, we continue to speak against things that are not right ongoing in the nation. We continue to speak against things that, you know, humanly speaking, um, should not be condoled. The judiciary has, okay, uh, uh, judiciary has said, you know, David is sacked. Fine. David has been sacked. What is he still doing there? What is he still doing there? He's been sacked. So why is he still there? That question cannot be easily answered. Because in Nigeria, there's what we call sentiment. Okay? There's what we call sentiment. People not doing the right thing. And they just expect that things will fall in place. Okay? So this is the, this is the, this is the worst thing that can ever happen to a government. This is the worst thing. Okay, this is the worst thing that can ever happen to a government. We have no system in place, so to speak, whatsoever. No system, no system in place. What's, we've got no, absolutely no system in place. You know, these are all reflection of what is going on in our society. True reflection, you know, true reflection of what is going on. Nigerians, it is sad, but it's the truth. Okay, how things have gone from bad to worse. How things have gone from bad to worse. Okay? This is why every one of us must continue to speak out against everything and anything, you know, that is not right and has made our nation what it is today. We must speak out. We cannot, con we cannot condo such, which is continuing to happen again and again. We can't, con we can't condole it. We can't. We can't condole it. The time to speak out against this evil is now. The time to speak out against everything and anything that is not right is now. So at the end of the day, we are happier, we are better people. Okay? So that we are happy and better people. Because if we continue to pretend that these things are not happening, guess what? We're doing ourselves. We're doing our own very self. And that's why that time for the emergency rising up is now. So at the end of the day, we are better people, okay? We are making real decision that is, you know, making real transformation in our lives, okay? So this is what is going on. These are some of the things happening. And um, Nigerians, uh, we, we need to rise up. We need to rise up. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.